in the basement freestyling. Mm-hmm. Was that a was that a legitimate freestyle you did for in sure. there? Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It was definitely legitimate. Uh, it was more about um, yeah. We I, I didn't write nothing back in the days. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think I ever wrote. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And make sure you guys see the exclusive behind the scenes that we about to start dropping, guys, to where you're not gonna get it on our page. Mm-hmm. So it, it, make sure you get in there, man. We got a special guest in here today, y'all. He needs no introduction. Second time around, man. My guy, man. This guy right here, man, mean a lot to me, man. And Boss Talk 101 building this reputation on these guys that you really, really, you know, built this foundation for us in hip hop in the South, man. Silk the Shocker is in the building, man. I mean, building, man. Glad to be here. Glad to be here in the, the Mecca. Hey, yeah. man. I just want to thank you for coming, man. Sure. God bless you, bro. God bless the whole movement, mm-hmm. man. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. And, man, um, the people love y'all, bro. I appreciate that. Appreciate the people that. love y'all. I'm one of those people, yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah. I just thank you for coming on the show. Okay. I, I knew already you in Dallas, Texas, mm-hmm, man. Mm-hmm, when mm-hmm. the last time you been to Dallas? Uh, not that long ago, actually, about a month ago. But uh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I dipped in. I like Dallas. Oh, dipping yeah. In, dipping in the pout. Yep. Dipping in the pout. <laughs> wow. But I gotta say, thank you for the inviting us to that show last night because yeah. it was amazing. That was yeah. my first time, like even yeah. like to a show like that, even yeah, like yeah. backstage and okay, seeing all okay. of that. Good, good. Um, I loved it. Um, I love y'all energy, the mm-hmm. vibe. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dang, how y'all do this? Cause y'all just performed in New Orleans like mm-hmm. the day before mm-hmm. and then had to come straight here and do yeah, this. Yeah. I always wonder how artists find the energy to go from city to city. Mm-hmm. How, it's tiring. How, how do y'all do that? Just work, man. I mean, we've been doing so long that we're professionals now. So it's kind of, kind of dope that um, you come in and, uh, and do your job, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just like y'all, y'all work hard. Y'all, yeah. People be like, damn, y- y'all be moving. I see you here. here. Mm-hmm. Like, same thing, same principle. But the sure. older you get, it, it, mm-hmm. it takes a toll on the body, though. Uh, that's why you gotta, you know, try work, to work out. Exercise yeah, work and out. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. that. That's so, something yeah. I did with Court last night. I pulled him to the side. I said, P, out here jumping for like 30 minutes, man. 45 minutes. I said, man, he gonna be good. He said, man, we work. He works out. We work, we work out, man, mm-hmm. on the kale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I can true. see how how you can keep the energy up because even when we were on stage and to me just feeling the vibrations from the mm-hmm. stage mm-hmm. for the music, mm-hmm. you can't help but have that go straight through your body yeah, and yeah. do that. Yeah. I mean, I love that. Mm-hmm. It, was, it felt good. Wow. Yeah, for sure. Now, I, I, yeah. I really, like I said, my thing is to go into the music a little bit, man. Can, you got to recap something for me and if you, mm-hmm. if you can't remember, I'll forgive you. For sure, but for sure. over in, in the basement, when you did that, um, when you did that that freestyle and hung out with Tigger. Tilt the shot, shot, shot. I'm chilling live in the wreck for Big Tig. You know how we get paper and we stay get. Mm. I, that was a long time ago, mm-hmm. but how was it? Dude? What do you remember about that? Those were those BET days and those moments where we could only get a little bit of it. Yeah, I remember um, just being raw. You know what I'm saying? It just being something where. Um, you ain't know what to expect, you know what I'm saying? Especially, uh, we did it, we wasn't really on TV that much, so it was like, um, that was a big platform too, so just being ourself, I guess that's what it was, and then by us being ourself, it just kind of trickled into something bigger, especially seeing it, it was like, oh, okay, now we understand television a lot better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a sure. super, super uh, different time then. Now people are challenging themselves, you know, to be dominant on the internet. Back mm-hmm. then, people challenged themselves to be prevalent on mm-hmm. MTV, mm-hmm. be prevalent mm-hmm. on BET, mm-hmm. you know, be prevalent on, you remember the box, all mm-hmm. them different mm-hmm. avenues, we mm-hmm. were just, we were trying to see where y'all was at, man, yeah, yeah, and sure. and I, I love that, that moment, but the, the Tigger moments was, in the in the basement freestyling mm-hmm. was that a was that a legitimate freestyle you for did in sure. there? For sure. You know how we get paper and we stay getting gig. Right. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It was definitely legitimate. Uh, it was more about um, yeah. We I, I didn't write nothing back in the days. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think I ever wrote. Um, really? You nothing. never wrote? Nope. I don't think wow. I ever wrote. Nope. I just went to the studio. Went to um, studio and just did it. Yeah. The most that- I ever did was write down every other word. But that was it. Like I, I never write a whole song. I just write like one, two, you know, like a right. the rhyming word. Maybe. When you uh, just said that, wow. that take me to a place. My favorite song by you ever, mm-hmm. and it's because pimp on there with mm-hmm. y'all. One, two, three, you know, sickle G, all yeah. about that mother mayo. One, two, three, you 
no silk or cheese. All about that motherfucking mayo. Yeah, yeah. You know when I <laughs> when you when you did that. I was look, listening at that, mm -hmm. and we Bun B says he had a, a, he started that off with yeah, a conversation. And he talked about you know we can't wait to Screw get his hands on this one. Mm. There's been another. There's been a guy lately that said that Screw music actually originated mm -hmm. in Miami. Mm. Yeah, and so that's been a thing. But when I look at stuff like what I seen mm. do, happening mm. on y'all's, that was in 95, 96, mm. it reaffirms the fact of how intelligent Screw Music was. Yeah, 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 what yeah. do you remember about, you know, Screw Music when you first heard it? Being we in Texas. We and got where to, do you think it originated from? Oh, yeah, DJ yeah. Screw for show for me. I don't yeah, for yeah, you, yeah. but I'm just asking you. Where do you think? I, Screw I, think it's, I mean, for me, Texas, for sure. Um, I just heard it before. I heard, I heard the the sound before I heard screw. You see what I'm saying? So um but it was like a part of the culture though. It was just mm -hmm. like when you when you hear that slow down music, when you your song finally gets slowed down, you'd be like, I made it in Texas. You know what I'm saying? Like it was dope. It was wow. Dope. Well, what was your thoughts about it? Because I remember the first time I came to Texas and I was in college and my roommate, she was from Vegas yeah. and she was driving and she was doing that. I was like, hold up, that's so slow. How you how y'all jam to this? What is this? I, mm. It blew my mind because I'm like, I never heard it before. Yeah. One motherfucker, two motherfucker, three motherfucker, smoke, one of yeah. But if you know the Texas culture, we you get it. Mm -hmm. It's like they slow, they got they trues and vows, they got they, you know, they spokes, they, it, yeah, it makes the, sense. Yeah, know, pop so. trunk, yeah, all yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it's right, different, right. you know, but mm -hmm. the one thing I can say, like I said, even when Pimp was on that verse, he even spoke and said, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He talked about screw, mm -hmm. and then he talked about the swing, of, you know, the uh, oh, yeah. wood grain and all that, yeah. you know, that's what mm -hmm. they done, so. Sure. If we're in that real look, cause I be coming down, nigga, my heart be true. I'm your boo, I'm bumping that screw. Y'all mix so, and mingle so much, man, you had a hell of a verse on there. Always talking about the hustle, though. Mm -hmm. Always, that yeah. song, oh, yeah. and like I said, that's my favorite song, cause it, Everybody on there talking about getting to the money. P talking about mm. uh, 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 the scales. Mm -hmm. You you talking about getting? I got mm -hmm. three, two for three, four for five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you didn't write that. Nope. Nope. You just. How long did it take you to come back? Come out? Mm -hmm. Come with that? Like, did you just sit in there and listen to the beat? The beat. Then I uh, I was inspired too because you know you got UGK too, so you know you just gotta be in that moment. So some stuff you can't write. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. So your creative process is just. First, you got to listen to the music. Mm -hmm. Do you have to have like, because some people are like, okay, everybody get out of the studio, just me and the, you mm -hmm. know, the producer, the person who's mixing it. You mm -hmm. can't have nobody else in there. Or do you have to have people in there when you're doing it? Do you have to do it in the studio or do you have to do it at home? Mm -hmm. What's your creative process like when, you ha when you're making um, music? That's a good question. Um, a difference because uh, for me, I could... I used to like have it by myself where I just wanted to go do it. But mm -hmm. then by me being uh, able to always be around crowds. I was okay with, if you in the studio, I could I could rap right now for an hour straight. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.